So, this is Vinci Gladog and you're watching Vinci TV. And our topic for this video is how to stay motivated. Well, if there's anyone who needs this the most, it is me. Kailangan ko to sa sobrang dami ng ginagawa ko at sobrang dami ng iniisip ko. And madalas, since marami ka nga rin ginagawa, pag hindi mo siya na-accomplish, may frustration. And that's why you need motivation. And that, that is when motivation is required. Pag marami ka ng frustrations, pag marami ka ng unmet expectations. That's why I want to share this video for you and me uh, to be guided by this principle. Ito yung mga principle na uh, pinaniniwalaan ko, hindi ko ina-apply, and I just wanted to share to you. So first things first, uh, una kong ginagawa is properly set my goals. If it, possi if it is possible, kailangan may picture siya, mayroong timeline, mayroong date. And I go with the specifics talaga, uh, from color, from the taste, from the texture and everything as much as possible kailangan ko siyang gawing malinaw for me kasi hindi kami yung motivated sa isang bagay na hindi siya hindi clear sa isip ko uh, yung kaya nga tayo may imagination it's the perfect way for you to visualize the things you want to have in life yung mga vision mo yung mga goals mo for the season like for example isa sa mga uh, kailangan ko ng motivation is matapos yung libro na sinusulat ko actually mm, dalawa yung libro sinusulat ko so how to be stay motivated is that is to, fin to see the finish, uh, the the finished product of the book. I get reverse engineering about through the goal na sinet ko dun sa book na yun. Another thing, sabi nga na ni Anonymous, favorite ni talaga si Anonymous, a properly set goals is a halfway reached. So, kung meron kang goal na naiset mo ng maayos, nandun ka na sa kalahati kasi alam mo na kung paano siya pumunta. That's why, when you have your goals, always be motivated. Especially if you will see it every time. Ako, meron akong prayer room dito. Doon nakapost lahat yung mga pina, pinapangarap ko, yung mga goals na kailangan ko achieve. So, that's one thing. Kung wala ka pa noon, I encourage you, I plead you to have your own uh, vision board, dream board, or whatever you want to call it. Kailangan mong magkaroon noon. Kasi kahit pag nag-workout nga ako, nakikita ko yung mga nakapost doon. Lalo ko na-encourage na uh, bukasin yung tulog ko. Uh, kahit mahirap, uh, kailangan ko siyang gawin kasi may nakakopish ako ng So, first thing is that uh, you need to uh, set a goal. Uh, no. Number two is set a daily activity. Kahit routine, magkaroon ka ng routine or daily activity. So, ang ginawa ko, sinet ko na ulit yung daily goals ko. Uh, may mga checklist ako na kailangan EMP and meron na akong uh, nagagawa for that day. Uh, kahit matax ko lang, kahit matahanan ko lang, maransur ko na yung activity niyon okay na sa akin kesa ang dami kong unplanned hindi naman siya nakaset per day hindi ko na hindi ko siya maka-accomplish kasi naka-random siya eh. pero hindi ko inalign mo siya sa Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, Friday mas maging maayos yun yung wife ko yun naging care sa akin na lagyan mo ayusin mo yun kasi usually uh, sabi ko nga nag-let loose na ako for this year parang hinahingan ko na mangyari yung mga bagay ang ngayon inaayos ko na ulit kasi malapit na akong magtapos yung taon and uh, enough na yung rest period ko so, again, i-schedule mo yung araw mo. Sabi nga, if you don't schedule your day, uh, someone will run your day. Hindi ikaw yung papatakbo ng araw mo, kundi ibang tao na mayroong schedule. Gagamitin yung schedule mo para sa schedule nila. So, ayaw mo naman mangyari yan. Hindi ka may motivated pag ang schedule ng iba yung napaprioritize mo. Kasi wala ka nga talaga schedule. Again, that's it. Um, you need to schedule daily. May motivated ka pag nakaayos ka. So, number three is that I enjoy the process. Meaning, I don't put too much pressure on what I am doing. If ever I fail on something, magkamali man ako, na, na, nag-lapse man yung ginagawa ko, or nakatulugan ko siya. Walang sarap kasi matulog ngayon bare months. But, again, you should enjoy the process. Uh, you will see people na will encourage you to hustle, 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 hustle. But before you hustle, make sure you're in the right direction and you are doing the right thing. And, yun yung gustong ipagawa sa'yo ni Lord. Kasi kahit yan magsipag ka dyan, kung hindi naman yung gusto ni Lord sa'yo, it is useless. You need to enjoy the process. It's sobrang importante na hindi ka pressure. Kasi alam na natin mahirap din kung ipapressure pa yung sarili mo, mas nalo, matitriple yung frustrations mo. Hindi rin siya makakatulong sa motivation mo. Ano naman kung magkamali ka? Ano naman kung, ayan ako ngayon, yung mga sinusulat mong libro. Ngayon may sinusulat kasi, pag how of almost more than half of the book na ako sa isang book, tapos this one is English naman yung ginagawa ko. So, I'm allowing myself to make mistakes. Kasi English yun, so kahit may mga incorrect grammar, mayroong mga 
ng gulong talks. Yung, kasi since may ginawa naman si Lord ng mga grammarian, mga editor, so sila na bahala doon, ililibre ko na lang sila ng ice cream. Sigurado kasi mga kakajibaiti sila kakainit ng mga ginako. But still, I want to do my best like no one ever was. I wanna be the very best. Or before I enjoy everything, I make sure na pinag-aralan ko, nag-research ako. If, if wala ka nagyong mangyari, then so be it. Tsaka, I realize, um, the more failures you have, the more lessons you will gain. Uh, the more na umi-iwi, umi-iwi, so lang, 2 a.m. The more na umi-iwas ka sa pagkakamali, mas lalo kang lumalayo sa growth mo. I'm not saying na magkamali ka, pero kasi minsan, kasama sa process yun eh, sabi nga, di ba? Uh, failure is not the opposite of success. Not trying is the opposite of success. <laughs> Oh, failure is the opposite. It's not. <laughs> failure is not the opposite of success. The opposite of success is not trying. And success, the requirement yun is seasons of failures na natutunan mo. Overcome failure. Dun ang yari yung success. Enjoy it, malang. Uh, find people na mga kasama mo dun sa ginagawa mo. Magiging motivated ka pag hindi ka pressured. Tsaka kung pwede mo aralin yung, yung process. Like now, and dami kung kinakabisado, inaaral, like, take it by heart yung mga principles na. Makakatulong sa group ko, yung Pomod Pomodoro, Kaizen, Feynman, basta marami sila. Nakakatulong siya kasi may mga learning techniques yun eh. So believe in science kung ito yung tipo ng tao na hindi ka naman naniniwala sa mga gulang principle. I encourage you, pwede mong i-hack yung productivity, pati yung processing ng utak mo. Kasi hindi ako ganito before no, nung, nung nag-college pa, kaya basta ako, bahala na. Pero ngayon, habang nag-enjoy ako, I make sure na seryoso ako sa ginagawa ko. Pwede ka naman mag-enjoy seriously. Kasi akala natin yung pag enjoy hindi pong busy ka, wala ka lang daw. Enjoying is doing something you love. Even, and even if you fail many times, you don't mind it because you learn in the process. Again, parang mag stay motivated ka, enjoy mo lang yung process. Uh, maging masaya ka, yung mga small victories mo, yung mga small victories mo, i-celebrate mo, yung mga big, big victory, <laughs> yung mga big victories mo, i- Uh, celebrate mo lalo and find someone na makakatulong sa'yo yung kasama mo sa journey mo kasi kung ikaw lang din yung nag enjoy hindi siya mamumultiply so para maging motivated ka enjoy mo lang yung process so, so what kung magkamali ka so what kung pangit sa umpisa gagaling ka naman through the process eh. so again yun yung top 3 ko for being uh, for staying motivated and I hope it help you review lang tayo have a goal have a specific goal plan your day and enjoy the process. So again, uh, this is Pinchy Kudo. You're watching Pinchy TV. Be inspired. Stay inspired. Be an inspiration. Come on.